Another common issue with tables is where they don't behave like part of the document when they're floating around. When you create a table, the default settings for this table is to be part of the text to behave like one big letter that you've typed. However, if for any reason you drag your table from its original position by using this little corner icon here, that means the computer disconnects that table from the text and it becomes a floating object and you have very little control of where it goes and how it behaves. So always keep your tables as the original inserted as being part of the text. If you want to move it to a new position, simply cut and paste it, but don't drag. If you want your table centered, again, don't drag it. What you need to do is think about the table as a letter. So for example, if my table is a bit smaller, I'm going to delete this column to illustrate and I want it centered. What I need to do is select the entire table and then center it the same way you would center text table will center, not the text inside, but the table itself, but it will continue to behave as part of the text itself. So it will stay in its place in between those paragraphs. And I'm just going to undo this because I need that last column. Undo the centering and undo the deletion.